was pretty epic. I, I had never dreamed of seeing us in the New York Times and to read it by a Filipino writer, the guy in Michan. Oh, we're hiring! <laughs> a restaurant here around the corner called Leon. And I said, hey, uh, you're not using your restaurant for brunch. Can I use it? And he said, why? And I said, well, I want to start my restaurant idea. And he said, what is your restaurant idea? I said, Filipino food. He said, okay. And we served four people. Then second weekend came, only Sundays again, like seven people showed up. And then something happened where New York Magazine or Time Out came and they wrote about it in that week. And they said, go check out this Filipino pop-up. By the third weekend of our pop-up, it was a two-hour wait for a table. And then, lo and behold, it became a three-month wait for a reservation. come and eat Filipino food. I start freaking out. It's November, it's December, and rent's not getting paid. I had an idea. We were screaming balut here. What else could I turn around? And I remembered my dad eating with his hands and being so embarrassed when my white friends would come over. So jeepney is for my Filipino men in my life and doing kamayan was a way we could get bodies in here. And, and we would teach people the technique of eating with your hands and, and it blew up. There are two kinds of people in this world, bottom line. There's the people who just want the glory and they just want the press or they just want to say they own a restaurant and that's cool and that's okay. Otherwise, they're the people who have to wake up at 4 a.m. to be at the restaurant to look at the vegetables. There's the people who are going to be here until 4 a.m. closing up the restaurant. I can't say that I have 
the one, two, three, four, five top things that you should do if you don't have enough money. But what I can say is that it's not about money. It's actually not. Money can come and go. No one can take away hard work and no one can take away the education and the experience that you earn from that hard work. Thank you.